Okay, so um, before we get into determinants, I'd like to talk a little bit about these cofactors. We're going to use these cofactor, uh, this idea of a cofactor in both um, determinants and in um, matrix inverses. So it would be good to get some idea of how that actually works. I, I think you really actually have some um, background in it uh, from all the vector analysis you've done. You already actually know how this is supposed to work um, because you do it all the time in cross products. Um, but I think what we'll do here is we'll just go through with this matrix and um, look at all of its cofactors. All right, and um, and that'll just sort of tell you what's going on. And then when we do the um, determinants and we do the inverses and all these other fun things. Uh, you'll start to notice the similarities between this and what you do in cross products and things like that. So I think this will be very useful to you um, to go through and do a whole bunch of these um, before you try your um, homework. Um, so uh, let's just take this matrix and find its cofactors. Okay. And um, from these cofactors, right, what we want is um, to find basically, well, I get, let's say we want to find its cofactor matrix. So if we want to find all of its cofactors, we want to find the cofactor matrix C. Okay, well, this is a matrix, not a vector. Okay, and so that means we need to find the C11, C12, C13, C21, C22, C23, C31, C32, C33. Okay, and so we're just going to go through and fill this in. Okay, just doing each one of these, each one of these um, different cofactors one at a time. All right, uh, and the best way to do it is to start at one, the very first one. So we want to find this cofactor. So we want to find the cofactor here, which means we look at this submatrix here, zero, one, minus two, two, and find its determinant. All right. Um, so that is um, C one one is equal to zero, one, minus two, two, right? And here we just multiply these and subtract the product of these. So that's um, 0 um, times 2 minus 1 times minus 2, which is equal to, uh, I'm going to say 2. All right, so we have a 2 right there. Okay, um, and then we can go down here to C21. Right, C21. Um, now this is 1, 2, 3. So since the sum of the indices is odd, we take a minus 1 and multiply it by uh, whatever is not in this row or in this column. So we have 2 minus 6 minus 2, 2. 2 minus 6 minus 2, 2. Okay. Um, and so that's minus 1 times. Um, 2 times 2, which is 4, and minus 6, minus 2, so we subtract 12. So that's minus 8 times minus 1 is 8. Okay? Seems simple enough? I hope so. It is simple. Uh, I mean, this is all uh, really, really um, basic stuff. Okay? Uh, C31 is equal. Now we have 1, 2, 3 plus 1, that's 4, so that's an even number. When we sum the indices, that means we don't multiply by minus 1. That, so that means we have everything that's not in this row or this row. row. So we have this little submatrix here. 2 minus 6 is 0, 1. 2 minus 6, 0, 1, right? Um, and that's 2 times 1 is 2 minus 0, which is 2, okay? So we're cruising along, singing our song, ha having a grand old time, right? I mean, this is exactly what you want to do 
on a Wednesday night. Actually, I'm doing it on a Sunday afternoon. So this is, you know, the sort of thing you do after church. Go home and um, relax with a little bit of Matrix Algebra. Um, so, actually, we just want C1, 2. I did C2, 1. Okay. 1 plus 2 is 3, so we multiplied by minus 1. We want to do everything not in this row in this column, so we have 5, 1, 1, 2. 5, 1, 1, 2, which is equal to minus 1 times 10 minus 1, right? Which is 9 times minus 1, which is minus 9. So we have a minus 9 sitting there. Uh, then we have C2, 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, so we don't have a minus 1. We eliminate the middle, so we have minus 2, minus 6, 1, 2. Minus 2, minus 6, 1, 2. Okay, so minus 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, and then we subtract minus 6 times 1, which is minus 6. Right? So that is 6 minus 4, which is equal to 2. We're getting a lot of 2s. Um, seems to me like somebody really, really liked 2s. All right. C three two. That's our uh, that's our last uh, one in this column. Um, that's three plus two is five, which is odd. So we multiply by negative one. To everything not here, so we have minus two minus six five one. Minus two minus six five one. Okay, and that's equal to um, minus one times minus 2 minus minus 6 times 5 is 30 right so that means we've got 30 minus 2 is 28 times minus 1 we have minus 28 one of these things is not like the others all right so there we go uh, almost there um, one more column to do so the first First row, third column. Okay, um, that's four, so we don't multiply by anything. Um, we take this matrix here that's opposite this minus six, so we have five, zero, one, minus two. Um, five times minus two is minus ten, minus zero is minus ten. All right, so we have minus ten. Then we have C, two, three. Okay, that's five. Two plus three is five, so we've got a minus one. Everything's going good. Um, minus one, everything not here or here, so we have minus two, two, one, minus two. Minus two, two, one, minus two. Okay, so that's minus one times four minus two, which is equal to um, minus two. Okay, and then the one you've been waiting for, C33. I know you've been waiting in anticipation. Anticipation for C33. Um, so C3, C33, we have um, this guy. We want to use this um, submatrix. So we have, what, minus 2, 2, 5, 0, right? Um, and if we have minus 2, 2, 5, 0, um, we have minus 2 times 0 is 0, minus, um, 2 times 5 is 10, which is equal to minus 10. All right, so there we go, another minus 10. Um, everything's worked out pretty reasonably. We have a nice little cofactor matrix um, to show our parents. And I think um, we can be reasonably happy with it and think that things are um, pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit back, take a break, um, come back, and uh, what I'll do is I will look at um, the same matrix and I'll find its determinant in two different ways by cofactor expansion expansion and by getting into triangular form um, which 
both of which hopefully will give the right answer um, or give the same answer. Um, they both should give the right answer and they both should give the same, the, the same answer because there's only one right answer, right? Um, so while I do that, uh, you can load up a, another video and it will be ready for you, okay? See you around.